Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Chris, and this is my channel, Barn on Eleven Nine Seventy. Thank you, as always, for checking out my video. All right, guys, I want to talk about something that obviously is something that is important to people who, probably for the majority of them, are probably one of the main reasons why they got into this "quote unquote" truth or movement, and that is talking about nine eleven and the uh, situations that happened. Now, I know some people want to just let this die, and some people say, "Oh, well, you know, you're talking about this. You're." you know, disrespecting the people that died. I think it's quite the opposite. If you think there is not something right and you just let time pass by, then those people died for nothing. And basically just saying, all right, we're going to accept it even though there's a lot of holes in the stories and even though something doesn't seem right, let's just walk away from it. That, to me, does more of a disservice for the people who died than people that are trying to awaken people to the truth. So I'm one of those people that think, I don't care how much time goes by, this is too important to let sit by. So I want to go just on basics of the physics of the Twin Towers, and don't forget Building 7. So many people just want to conveniently forget Building 7. Now, I made two images. Now, of course, these aren't drawn to scale, but we're seeing actually two different sides of the buildings. Now, if you notice these lines, this is what people don't seem to understand about physics. You have buildings that were hit in the upper regions of the buildings. And then you have Building 7, which isn't here, which is a basically a wider version of these, but not as tall, that didn't get hit by anything. And these buildings fell, some of them, it fell at the speed of gravity. In other words, like there was no resistance. Now, for that to happen with these buildings, that would suggest that these buildings were completely hollow, because as you could see, there are hundreds of levels of steel-reinforced concrete all the way up and down these buildings. And yet, when they collapsed, they fell straight down with no resistance. Which means, physically, that would mean these don't exist. Because if you look at this, if it started collapsing here, well, wouldn't it fall on this part, and then this part, and then this part, and do kind of like a, like a ladder kind of effect as it went down? Just think of it in physics. And even Building 7, no plane hit Building 7, and then they're trying to suggest that a couple of fires, melted steel and reinforced steel concrete, to the point where it free fell for seven seconds at the speed of gravity. That suggests one of two things. Again, either these buildings were hollow and there were no floors, which is physically impossible, or there were bombs that were placed on the levels all the way down to the basement, which, if they exploded simultaneously, would have collapsed all of these different layers, making it physically possible for it to free fall. Now, I've basically made a video the other day talking about something I saw at the dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Now, um, I am actually able to use this because I purchased the movie. So I'm just showing one scene. So the uh, Information Act, uh, um, Freedom of Information Act, and also the right to be able to show this um, part of the video. I'm only going to show a little bit of a clip. I'm going to show you the reference to 9-11 and how easy it was for me to spot this, and how easy it will be for you when I see this, uh, when I show you this. Um, so again, I purchased the Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, so it's I own this particular clip that I'm showing. So I have the right to show it, and I'm only going to show a couple of seconds of it. But I want you to pay close attention to this. Now, I have the video all set, ready to go. Now I'm going to show you something before I hit the clip. This person right here, is the one that gives all of the 9-11 references that you're about to see. Now, who is this guy? Now, if you remember the whole Sandy Hook conspiracy, what was going on with the Batman, and how Commissioner Gordon po points to Sandy Hook when it came to um, the Sandy Hook sh school shooting, they had a map of, that was supposedly of Gotham, and he points directly to the um, Sandy Hook. Well, that's the same person in this movie. So I want you to listen to this very carefully, and then I'll point a couple of things and pause it if I have to. So pay attention to this. All right, it would help if I hit play. Look who I found. I didn't know if you'd made it out. Don't worry. 
We're gonna turn all this around. What do you mean? What's going on? The apes, they're all over the tower. Notice they said they're all over the tower. C4. Five pound blocks. We just started setting. They're going to take down the whole tower. Flash them all at once. Now watch when they scroll up. Look at that. Right there. You're telling me, and I'll rewind that again for a second. That those don't look like twin towers. So he's they're basically saying we're gonna take out we're gonna take out the whole tower. And they're showing C4 all around the basement of the building. So watch it again. I didn't know if you made it out. Don't worry. We're gonna turn all this around. What do you mean? What's going on? The apes, they're all over the tower. Keep trying. Look, look at this. C4. This is San Francisco. Five pound blocks. We just started setting. They're going to take down the whole tower. Flash them all at once. You could use your help. Watch when they scroll up. Now tell me. Those don't look like the Twin Towers. So, basically, I mean, yes, is it something that's a coincidence? It absolutely could be. This is a 2014 movie. I made a video just before talking about how they always refer to us as apes. So they're basically saying all the apes are in the tower, and we're going to blow the tower. Then there is C4 all around the basement of the building. They scroll up, and you see what looks like two Twin Towers. So... If that doesn't tell you a hint of what they're trying to suggest to you about this, I don't know what else to tell you. But like I said, in the diagram I showed, obviously, you know, I'm no, you know, illustrator or anything like that, but that's that doesn't really matter. I'm showing that if you look at it just from the physics, how could those buildings, especially Building 7, have fallen at the speed of gravity if there is levels of reinforced steel and concrete that would create a resistance as it fell. The fact that they all fell and collapsed at the same time means there had to have been explosives to let it all go down. And that's why when you see, when they purposely demolish a building, you see the same effect, and it takes them months of setup to be able to have this happen so it doesn't tilt, it falls straight down. And the only way they can do that is by putting detonations on resistance points so when it falls, it falls straight down on itself because it doesn't have the levels that will keep the other parts up or making it tilt. So, I don't know, guys. This is something that I think is important and we should not let time just let it slip by because I think if you just ignore it and people don't do anything about it, that is really the injustification of the people who died there. So I'm doing this because it's important. I know so many people get angry about it, but my thing is, why would you be angry about somebody trying to expose what is not being honest? And if you go by the 9-11 Commission report, they don't mention any of this stuff. There are hundreds of architects. If you go to 911truth.org, they have videos about it. There are people that have made movies about this where there are professional people that say this is physically impossible the way they said it was. It's time we stop looking the other way and we start doing something about it. And the first thing is spreading knowledge. So if you appreciate this stuff, please give it a thumbs up. Please give your positive comments. And even if you don't agree, all I'm asking for is to be civil. Um, like and share. And if you're not part of the Barna Nation, hit subscribe below. We would love to have you as a uh, part of this community. So thanks for watching, guys. And I uh, hope that uh, message gets through. And again, that movie is The Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, it's around the um, one hour and 45 minute mark. So if you own the movie, you'll be able to see it yourself. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace.